Hello guys, Bad Spad here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the add-on Move Anything. You can get it off the uh, Curse client. I'm not sure if you can get it off WoW Matrix because I got it off Curse, but it is a very helpful add-on. Um, it's mainly really good for healers. When I was on my healing spec for Holy on this Paladin, Mentis, um, I am currently a Red Paladin now, DPS, um, it was really helpful. Um, a, basically, I moved all my action bars around to make it so it would be more convenient each time I went to go cast healing spells. And Healbot also helped out a lot, but I'm not going to go into Healbot right now. But I will show you Healbot add-on later. So, first, move anything when you download it. It'll be all normal if you don't have any regular... Um, if you do have a regular UI, then everything will be back to normal. And it's best if you use it with a regular UI that WoW provides. Um, when you go into your start menu, like I just did, it'll come up with the move anything tab down at the very bottom under everything else. And so I'm going to close my map. I'm Dark going shot. to change the size of this chat. You can't do that with move anything. That is the only problem. Um, but first off, I'm going to show you what you can do with it. You can hide uh, certain modules, like I'm hiding page up and page down for this which is pretty helpful because now it just i would never using them. Um, action bar, your regular action bars, you can move them around the screen. Some people might think this is like trying to use dominoes, but dominoes is definitely different because you can make your um, action bars and everything else bigger, but you can also do it with every other module you have except for the dungeon search, but I don't have problems with that really. Um, as you could see, I moved my action bar around and I could resize it. I can make it bigger or smaller. And I don't really want it that small, but I always keep them down here for these ones. And I moved all my action bars around. As you can see, this is where my auras should be, would be normally right there. And I moved them to the side right there so it can be more helpful and not in the way. And then also I've moved the other action bar that was there to there to make it more convenient. I've moved my XP bar up here. I've moved my target bar over. I've moved everything almost. And I will show you how to do that. So bags doesn't really work so well if you have a bag add-on like I do. If you do that, I just resized it with the add-on itself. So that one's not very helpful, I have to say. Unless um, you have... Uh, uncheck the bank as well then it's not helpful for the bank as, uh, as well so the bottom bar I have it made it so it hides that um, thing that you know the background which is helpful because since I've moved everything around thing won't be in the right place so I've changed my experience bar I can move this around I'm probably gonna make it smaller so I can actually still see it pretty well and be proportional I'm going to move my reputation tracker. I can make it bigger. I've made it smaller so I can track it a lot easier and it doesn't take up too much space, which is very helpful. Um, the micro menu, which is this, you can move that around. I haven't found a good, a better place for it yet, but I personally like it right here all the same. So I'm going to keep it here for now until I find a better spot. And then also there is the micro menu vertical. That is what I did with that you can see that the menu is now vertical. I could have it right there if I want to, but I don't. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to make it the normal micro menu again. You can also reset things and put them back to normal, but I don't I'm not going to do that. And I've made this a bit too big. I'm going to change that. The way you change the size, you will see the little bars on the bottom, the little blocks. Um it's it's pretty much like using paint when you're trying to resize the scale. So I'm putting that back there. That's with the bottom bar. On the focus, you can change your focus target. Um, I'm not gonna have. I'm not. I haven't changed that yet. I don't need to. Um, game menu. When you do this, you can press escape and you can move this around, which is helpful. But I'm going to reset it because I like it where it is. So, um, I'm going to do video options. Um, that'll just come up with the windows. The most helpful thing I've found so far is when you're trying to um, open up many tabs but you can't because it cancels out certain ones. I can do that now. You can do that with this. It's very helpful. Um, move anything is helpful a lot for modules. So I'm going to
go back to move anything. Um, you've seen those. I've moved them around. You can make your loot bar. I've made it big just to make sure I know what I'm watching. And I put it over here. The loot roll I've changed as well. They're now here. So multiple add-ons or multiple drops will make it so it's not just all stacked up in the middle so you can't see what you're watching. So I've changed that. The mini-map, instead of being up there, I've changed it right here. And that is very helpful for me because I never like looking up there. And I'm always looking down here. And that's one thing I liked about Carbonite. But now that I have this done, I don't need to worry about Carbonite's map very much. And I like using this more. Um, a helpful thing for the zoom in and zoom out buttons, you can move these. I'm probably going to move them, actually. Um, let me move my zoom out button. That way I have more add-on room on the side, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, I have moved my mail notification all the way over here. Um, it's right there, so it can stay helpful and be in a not-in-the-way spot. I've m hid my top border, which is that block there, because it was getting in the way, and I don't need it. Miscellaneous, you can change certain things, like jam socketing. Um, the only thing I really needed to change in here was my tooltip once I moved the um, I, once I moved everything around up there. So that's helpful for that. Uh, there's gonna be static pop-ups, voice change, the voice changer thing. I've moved down here. Um, you can do that normally, but it's I do this like this here and made it smaller because it's usually in the way somewhere. So the party one is very helpful. I have all my parties members changed. Um, as you can see, the um, party member one is the biggest. It's usually the tank or the healer. So I've always made sure I could always know which person is the first one. You can change the debuff spots, but I never even see those really. So that's fine. Um, pets. I don't have a pet as a paladin. I don't worry about that. But you hunters might want to move it around to make it more helpful. Your player thing, I made bigger to make sure I always know what my mana is and my health. You can change your target. I have it, again, right next to me. Um, I made it a little bit smaller, but it's helpful. Raid warnings. Um, this is for when, you know, somebody says, watch out or something. It also works with the alarm clock one, too. Uh, yeah, it's just very helpful. That's most of the things you can do with Move Anything. When you're moving things around, you want to make sure you right-click it when you're done. Otherwise, if you click it again, it'll move it around again, and then that's not very helpful. Um, right now, I have up to four... Uh, I can have up to four windows open, but that's because my um, resolution isn't the highest it can be. People with large screens can probably make it so they have five windows open. Their character, their... Spellbook, their talents, their talents, <laughs> their quests, and then like your mailbox or something. So you can have a lot more things open. I can have the auction house, my character wardrobe, and my character thing open instead of just one or the other. Um, that's basically what you can do with Move Anything. If you have regular bags, you can make the regular bag bigger. I will, sh um, I will not show you that, but you can see it in some people who have used Move Anything before. So, thanks for watching, guys. Rate me five stars. If you need a tutorial, I will upload one. Just send me a request via PM. And thanks for watching.